I'm sous chef at Dean's Peak in Belfast. My responsibilities mainly would include being a supportive hand for Danny, the head chef. Just the day-to-day -day running in the kitchen, I kind of share the load, the responsibility of the head chef. Together we work very closely. It's a very small team. We only have three chefs, so it's myself, Danny, and one other. So it's very important that we all put our shoulders to the wheel. So the style here at Dean's Peak is one which is born out of a lot of love from Danny. She would place a lot of attention on the seasonality and availability of fresh produce using food at its best when it's in season. So I decided to enter National Chef the Year through a lot of encouragement from my head chef and my boss, Michael Dean. There'd been zero finalists, I think, from Northern Ireland in the past, and certainly there'd been nobody from Northern Ireland that had won it. Obviously, seeing the list of winners, I want to be on that list as well. So I prepared for the National Chef of the Year through a lot of uh, obsession as well as practice. I think as soon as the entry process started, I kind of enthralled myself right in it from the get-go. That was uh, so basically we worked like 16 hours a day, five days a week. So that doesn't leave much time for anything else. On my days off, you would get up and you go into work. So work then became for best part of six months, a seven day a week, and when you weren't working, you were thinking about the competition, and that was to the point where even if you had a 15 minute window break, you spent that doing something to get yourself ready for the competition. Uh, so winning National Chef of the Year was very important for me. I felt I needed some sort of validation or just a sense that I kind of wanted to win a serious competition of a national level. I can now take a deep breath and almost enjoy the industry. I don't feel any pressure on me having won the competition to do something great or astounding with it. And I just feel like, oh, this is, this is great, it's an honor. I'm on that list with Gordon Ramsay, Mark Sargent, some really like top-end chefs. So for me now, the important thing is that whatever I do next, it's just enjoy it. For me, what made National Chef of the Year different than any other competition you see out there is it's, it's so well structured and like very well thought out. It's such a long process. It's maybe like I think seven months from from your paper entry right through to the finals. There's so many rounds that by the winner really has to genuinely earn it, and you can't really fake it or fluke it. All very hard stages, and then you look at the caliber of the judges. I think there was 33 chefs judging on the finals. You had Sad Baines, Daniel Clifford, it was amazing. So the advice I would give to anybody thinking of entering National Chef of the Year in the future would be. Just uh, enter it for the right reasons. Uh, do it for yourself. Don't, uh, from me, it wasn't about prizes, it wasn't about prestige or accolades, it was just about something I wanted to prove to myself. I kept very true to myself the whole way throughout. And yeah, I think just enter for the right reasons, I would say.